First of all, let's stop for a second and say you have a new special out that's on YouTube right now. Yes. So I. Where'd you, where'd you I, shoot it? How'd you do it? What's the story? I shot it at the Just for Laughs Festival. In Montreal, Montreal, Mo Canada. Montreal. <laughs> Montreal, <laughs> yeah. Tabernac. And uh, it's a Canadian. What's Tabernac? Is that it's the, the province? It's a no. French, French Canadian swear word. It's the everything that all of their swear words are Catholic. So tabernacle is the tabernacle. Colise is the chalice. Yeah. Those are like their two favorite swear words. Tabernacle well, is mean? like fuck. Tabernacle, I don't know. I'm not I'm not that religious, but it's like a, a, tab a tabernacle is like a church, isn't it? It's a thing in the church. Okay. I think it's the podium. So how to become a, Yeah, so how to become a curse word? What does it mean? Cuz they're so Catholic, using it out of context was was bad 100 years ago. Interesting. 200 years ago. Interesting. 200 years ago. Oh, they're, that's like that's using anything in vain. They're working class. They're they're the remnants of poor people from France that have been cut off from France for 400 years. And that's why people in France, tell me if I'm wrong, go Oh no, that's actually the real French. We've we've changed it in France over the years, but they stayed exactly the same. I've never heard someone from France say that, but that is correct. It is a time capsule of poor people France French from 300 years ago. Wow. They of say poor people. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, you know, rural whatever people. How, I'm sure people in the city didn't talk like that 300 years ago. But they It's 400 I mean, years ago even, but they yeah. they they still work they used like they used different words like um um, I think they, they say chaussure, which is like shoes. But I forget what they say. They use a different word in France now. It's like if we still, instead of pants, we said knickerbockers. Mm -hmm. And you'd be like, knickerbockers? They're like, what do you say? Yeah. <laughs> pants, like, extra for pantaloons? <laughs> yeah. Like, I've never thought of it that yeah. way, but yeah. Yeah. So. Dude, Quebecois, whatever. The people from <laughs> Quebec City are fucking trash. Quebec. Quebec. The ones that come to Montreal are trash. They're like backpacker trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Quebecois, it means all the people in Quebec, which is like the state, the province. Quebec City is the capital. Montreal is the biggest city. What are the people of? Like the Frenchies. They're called Quebecois. Quebecois. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It means all. I mean, if you called. It's, it's like saying Texan. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They get mad at you. One time we were hiking. We we're just like walking and somebody, somebody asked us something in French. Mm -hmm. A real like He looked like Rambo He's dressed like Rambo yeah. Before he got like You know Just yeah. when he's walking Through the city They're like yeah. We don't want you here But he'd and surrender he asked, Yeah <laughs> Yeah And he asked I was like Oh sorry I don't speak French and He goes Why don't you You know Whatever And he was like I was like Sorry we're American And he was like Still you should speak French <laughs> Come on dude <laughs> I was like oh, Come on yeah. Come off it Yeah No way They're so Scared it, They're insane Mm -hmm. They have like language laws there where if it's like an Italian restaurant, it, it has to be French. It can't be like Italian. Like That's every, so nuts because yeah. here you can have whatever you want. Right. But here's the thing. There's is, no attack on English here. Is they, they are in a country, they share a country, yeah. which is, you know, 60, 40, actually more like 70, 30. They're the 30. English. And the 70 is English, so they share. And also, they are on the border. So in Vancouver, you got some others. Yeah, you got a little others. And then, uh, and then um, they border on America, which is the biggest media gauntlet in human history. Mm -hmm. So they're just being barraged with the English. So if they didn't, if they weren't so protective of their culture and their language, they would be end up like the French people who live in New Orleans. Right. Don't exist anymore. Right. They go, nyam, 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 nyam. And like, that's their French. You're like, okay. But yeah. Anyway, um, um, so you, I'm legal. So you're legal. Right. But you taped your thing, your special there at Just for Laughs? I taped it at Just for Laughs. If you don't know, Just ago. for Laughs has a massive, there's a massive comedy festival. Where's my camera? Where's my camera? At, at Montreal every mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. um, I did realize it's just now that, that your camera is going to be way higher than mine. But yeah, you do what you can. Mm -hmm. Um and it's like the biggest one in North America. It's like a big feat to get in there. If you get in as, as a new face, which is like the young comics, it's like this big fucking stepping stone for you. The nasty show is what I usually do, which is like one of their funnest shows. Mm -hmm. And then they have like way bigger gala, galas, which I can't do because I'm way too dirty. Mm -hmm. um, and you have to wear like a suit for it. Yeah. But like, and, that's and then the weirdest thing is Canadian Festival. It is nearly impossible for a Canadian to get into that festival. It's 
very difficult. I was exaggerating. It's harder. Harder. We are not allowed to do new faces. Why would you not be allowed to do new faces? Because we're so not, if anyone could, 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 if you were good enough to get it, they were still like, we don't want you. That's right. Wow. That's what happened to me. Wow. Because I was started in comedy in New York as an undocumented person. And so they found out you're Canadian, so like you're not eligible yeah. for new faces. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Before you even audition, they're like, you can't even audition. I did two auditions. And then they found out. Yeah, I did. And then they found out. But it's so ridiculous. And so I, wait, and New Face is really important because that's how you get a manager. That's how you get an agent. That's how you yeah. get. Opens up all the yucks to you. <laughs> but Canadians aren't allowed to do it. So we do our own thing called Homegrown. Oh, yeah. Which no American industry comes out to, so it doesn't really matter. It's for CBC to come look, and they won't even. Yeah, I don't, I've they? never heard of anyone getting anything out of homegrown. I think that's one of those where it's kind of like the eventually the the, the Comedy Central like uh, half hour where at first it was like Dane Cook and, and Swartzen and people like that and Don Marrero even and Sanchez and Freddie Soto and it was like it was like oh that's big yeah and then it became I mean over time so small that all it did is get you into rooms in New York like what? I'll have you on my bar show you did a half hour. You know, like that, oh. it would just be that. So that seems what what Homegrown would do. Where it's like, it legitimized you a little. In Canada? In absolutely. Canada. Well, because yeah. it's a competition and I won it. So that helped. You won. You came in first. I came in first. And Dude, so, I wish I had a, some sort of trophy or medal for I you have one around your neck. Uh, I, I, I clean it every day. Um, <laughs> but, the, yeah, so it, you, it's not impossible to get on. To, it, I would say... A lot of Canadians would tell you that it's not fair, but I would say they do. They do a lot of Canadians on at that festival. There are some. There's yeah. I think they do a fine. I think job. sometimes yeah. you'd be surprised. Well, Russell gets it whenever he wants. He's yeah. he's no longer Canadian. He's too big. Yeah. Uh, like Jim Carrey types are like you're bigger than Canada, yeah, so yeah. like it doesn't matter. You're just not Canadian anymore. You're just a star. And then I think a lot of people are like. Like, well, Ryan Hamilton gets in every year, He's but he's not Canadian. Yeah. I get in all the time. Like, I'm not Canadian. Yeah. I've been mistaken for him because I've been to JFL But so it much. wouldn't be a big festival. It was just like a Canada festival. No, you not just. Have, like, not names. just. We're talking about, like, when's the last time a Canadian did the nasty show? Nope. Yeah. Mike Wilmot. Mike Wilmot does it. Yeah. So I stand corrected. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I mean, that, that, whatever. Where'd you tape it? At, uh... I forget what it's called. Place des Art. No, that's the big one. Yeah, that's I, a theater across the street, like in, in the festival. And I did it two years ago before COVID, so it was like sold out show. It was great. They only gave me one take, which is tough. Oh, Nor- that's normally hard. in festival, normally in Tapings. specials, they you, they give you two takes. Did you have your crowd there? I mean, whoever was in Montreal that was a fan of mine. Okay. First of all, so, what's it called? Stupid jokes. Stupid jokes. Yes. Stupid jokes is on YouTube right now. It, they they just released it on YouTube. It was only available on like the Canadian streaming service called Crave, which is like our Hulu. Oh yeah. So it was trapped up there for a year, and they just put it on their uh, on their YouTube page, and they're like, "We have like 1.5 million." I'm like, "But how many of those m- million are Canadian?" And they geo block it in Canada, so no one in Canada, none of their subscribers can. It's just like Dude, it's not kill- really their fault. It's just like a. It's like because it, it would hurt the the contract they have with Crave. So I've been through this for. Uh, in, yeah, you know they have this big thing, and it's like I'm kind of getting fucked a bit. Yeah. No, I had the same thing with this not happening. We were just doing digital ones, and then suddenly they made a new deal, and then suddenly all the YouTube stuff wasn't available anywhere outside America. So Canada and Australia, yeah, I couldn't see my stuff, and I was like. Guys, I, I, I tour these places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, well, how much? I'm like, they're major markets uh, of mine. Yeah. Toronto's the top two or three market. Vancouver's yeah. top five. Like, yeah. Like, wh- d- yeah, man, I don't know. Like, show my shit. Yeah. No, it's so frustrating. And it's like, well, no, Viacom had a deal with some fucking dude. Yeah. Ugh. Anyway, but you tape this thing. Stupid what? Stupid funny? Stupid jokes. Stupid jokes. Damn, I was going to say stupid jokes first. Stupid funny. That'd be... Next one? Maybe... So you liked it. It came out well. I'm really proud of it. Yeah. I, I mean, I, JFL produced it. I think they did a, a great job. Yeah. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. Okay. Well, yeah. we'll put a, right now, we'll put a thing up. If you're watching this on YouTube, a box. And, yeah. Uh, to fucking click on it. And by the end of the video, we'll have like a I'm proud a of it. To- and I'd like you to watch it. It's free. If you don't, I, I, this isn't an attack on you, but I think you're a bad person. Well, that's fair. Mm-hmm. Bad people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... All right, we'll for sure do that. Let's get into the fucking subject, man. Right. Oh, so I wrote. I, 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 I wrote this down.